Have you ever wondered what would happen if you committed to doing a 60 second plank every day? Stick around because we're about to uncover its incredible impact on your body, mind, and core. This is an exciting challenge that could totally change your fitness journey. In our fast-paced lives, finding time for a lengthy workout is a challenge. That's where the 60-second plank shines. It's a game changer. Quick, efficient, and targeting multiple muscle groups. You can do it anywhere, anytime, without any fancy equipment or gym membership. A minimal time investment with maximum returns. When you hold a plank position, you engage your core, arms, shoulders, back, and glutes. This simple yet highly effective exercise strengthens and tones these areas, leading to a more sculpted physique. It builds strength and stability across your entire body, and it's accessible to everyone, regardless of fitness level. Why is planking so effective anyway? That's because as you plank, your core muscles, including the rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, and obliques, kick into high gear. This creates a strong, stable foundation. Your back, shoulders, and arms work in harmony to maintain the position. It's practically a full body workout in just 60 seconds. Planking also improves your posture by engaging your core muscles. It promotes spinal alignment, reduces the risk of back pain, and helps you maintain a straight and confident posture throughout the day. Beyond the mirror, the 60 second plank offers a wealth of benefits. It goes beyond aesthetics, improving posture, reducing the risk of back pain, and enhancing overall stability and strength of mind. This means you'll stand taller, feel stronger and empowered, and move with confidence in all areas of your life. The real game changer, the positive impact on your mental health. Holding a plank requires focus, determination, discipline, and strong-mindedness. It's not just about physical strength, it's about mental resilience. As you conquer each second while you plank, that same mental strength will spill over into your daily life. You'll find yourself tackling challenges with newfound confidence and determination, developing a stronger mindset and greater resilience to stress and anxiety. Are you up for the 60 second plank challenge? Drop a comment below and let us know. Share your progress and your tips and let's inspire each other. We'd love to hear about your experience and how it has impacted your fitness journey. So, are you ready to take the daily 60 second plank challenge? Give it a shot. Start today and watch how this simple exercise revolutionizes your body and mind. Every second counts, and consistency is key. Keep pushing, keep planking, and keep thriving. Until next time, keep crushing those fitness goals. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fitness tips and challenges to help you reach your goals. Have you ever wondered what will happen if you do 50 push-ups every day? It's more than just a workout challenge. It's a full body revolution. Today, we're diving into how adding these push-ups to your routine can pump up your strength, boost your stamina, and really change the way you feel. 
Let's get started and see what this simple exercise can do for you. Push-ups are like the Swiss army knife of exercises. They work out your chest, arms, shoulders, and even your core all at once. But it's not just about building muscles. Doing these push-ups every day can also make your core rock solid and give your heart a good workout. Let's break down how these push-ups can upgrade your whole fitness game. Sticking to 50 push-ups a day isn't just a physical challenge. It's a game changer for your mind and body. You'll start to see your muscles getting more defined and feel yourself getting stronger. But that's not all. You're also building mental toughness. Keeping up with this routine means pushing yourself a little more each day. And that kind of discipline is a total win for your overall fitness. When you start doing your daily 50, it might feel tough. But stick with it, and you'll see how your body adapts and grows stronger. You're basically teaching your muscles to be more efficient and resilient. We're going to look at how you can see and feel this progress like being able to do more push-ups with ease and having more energy in your day. Doing push-ups every day is awesome, but you've got to listen to your body to avoid burning out. If you're feeling really sore or super tired, that's your body's way of saying, hey, slow down a bit. We're going to talk about keeping a good balance, mixing up your workouts, resting when you need to, and making sure you're doing those push-ups just right so you get stronger without the downside. Doing the same old push-ups every day can get a bit boring, right? Let's spice things up. There are tons of push-up styles out there. Incline, decline, you name it. Each one works your muscles in a slightly different way, keeping your workouts fun and challenging. We'll show you some cool variations to try out, keeping your push-up game strong and interesting. Let's mix up your push-up routine with some cool variations. Here are a few to try out. Incline push-ups, great for targeting your lower chest. Just place your hands on a raised surface like a bench or a step. Decline push-ups. These focus on the upper chest and shoulders. Put your feet up on a bench and get ready to feel the burn. Diamond push-ups. Place your hands close together to form a diamond shape. This variation really works your triceps. Plyometric push-ups. Add a little jump with your hands at the top of the push-up. It's a fantastic way to build explosive power. Wide grip. Push-ups. By placing your hands wider than shoulder width, you'll put more emphasis on your chest muscles. Incorporating these variations keeps your push-up game strong and interesting. Each one challenges your muscles in a different way, so you're constantly improving and never bored. Every push-up you do is a step towards more muscle and strength. It's all about how these exercises make your muscles work hard and get stronger over time. We'll dive into how you can really see your muscles getting more toned and feel yourself getting more powerful, especially if you pair your push-ups with the right foods to fuel that muscle growth. Think push-ups are just for arms and chest? Think again. They're actually amazing for your core too. Doing them right 
means your belly and back muscles are getting a workout as well. Getting your push-up form right is crucial, especially for strengthening your core. Here's how to ensure you're doing it correctly. Hand placement. Position your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Keep your fingers spread wide for better stability. Body alignment. Your body should form a straight line from your heels to your head. Avoid letting your hips sag or sticking your butt up in the air. Engaging the core. Tighten your abdominal muscles as if you're bracing for a punch. This engagement is key to strengthening the core. Elbow angle. As you lower down, aim for a 45 degree angle between your body and your arms. This targets your chest and arms effectively while engaging the core. Controlled movement. Lower yourself slowly, then push up powerfully. This controlled motion maximizes muscle engagement, including your core. By focusing on these form tips, you can turn every push-up into a full body workout that gives your core the attention it deserves. Remember, the quality of each rep is more important than quantity for building core strength. Here's a cool fact. Push-ups don't just make you stronger. They're good for your heart, too. When you're pushing up and down, your heart is getting a workout. It's like getting a dose of strength training and cardio all in one. Here's how push-ups can boost your cardiovascular health. Increased heart rate. Push-ups are a compound exercise that works multiple muscle groups which gets your heart pumping and improves overall cardiovascular endurance. Improve blood flow. Regular push-ups enhance circulation, ensuring better blood flow throughout your body. This is vital for heart health and efficient oxygen distribution to your muscles. Reduced risk of heart disease. Strengthening your heart muscle through exercises like push-ups can help lower the risk of heart-related issues. Balanced blood pressure. Engaging in regular physical activity, including push-ups, can contribute to maintaining a healthy blood pressure level. By incorporating push-ups into your fitness regimen, you're not just working towards a stronger body, but also contributing significantly to the health of your heart. It's an all-encompassing exercise that supports both strength and cardiovascular wellness. And that's a wrap. Thank you for joining us on answering what will happen if you do 50 push-ups every day. If you found these insights helpful, don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. For more fitness tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. This way, you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos designed to help answer your fitness questions. Keep pushing up, stay strong, and we'll see you in the next video. The fitness question that we'll answer today is, what happens to your body when you do squats every day? Squatting every day is more than just a leg workout. It's a journey toward total body transformation. Daily squats sculpt your legs, strengthen your core, enhance your posture, and boost your metabolism. In this video, we'll look at how squatting changes your body and improves your overall health, one day at a time.
we'll look into the myriad of benefits, from enhanced muscular endurance to better joint health. Squats don't just change how you look, they improve how you feel. Increasing energy levels and improving overall fitness. Join us as we discover the transforming effect of daily squats, uncovering how this simple exercise can lead to profound changes in your physical and mental well-being. Squats are a full-body workout marvel, targeting not just your legs, but also engaging your core, back, and improving your posture. With every squat, you work your thighs, glutes, and calves, while also strengthening your abdominal and back muscles. This total engagement enhances balance and fortifies your entire body. Beyond muscle strengthening, squats also improve functional fitness, aiding in everyday movements and activities. They are particularly effective in building a strong foundation for other athletic endeavors, making them a favorite among athletes and fitness enthusiasts alike. Incorporating squats into your routine is an excellent way to ensure a well-rounded approach to physical fitness, promoting not only strength, but also flexibility and coordination. Regular squats focus on developing your thighs and glutes, building strength and endurance in your lower body. They enhance muscle tone, leading to well-defined legs and a firmer backside. Squatting consistently not only strengthens these areas, but also contributes to overall lower body fitness. Beyond aesthetics, strong lower body muscles play a crucial role in supporting your daily movements and activities. From climbing stairs to lifting objects, the power generated by squat enhanced muscles is fundamental in making these tasks easier and more efficient. Moreover, this strength lowers the risk of lower body injuries, making squats a vital exercise for long-term mobility and health. Squats are an excellent exercise for core strengthening. Proper squat form engages your abdominal muscles and lower back, leading to a stronger core. This enhanced core stability results in improved posture helping to reduce back pain and maintain spinal health. Additionally, a strong core from regular squatting aids in better balance and coordination, essential for both athletic activities and daily tasks. This increase in core power also helps in lifting heavier weights safely, making squats a foundational exercise for overall strength training. Beyond physical strength, a fortified core from squatting contributes to enhanced athletic performance, supporting complex movements and providing a stable base for a wide range of sports and exercises. Adding squats to your routine increases flexibility in your hips, knees, and ankles. Regular squatting keeps these joints limber improving your overall mobility and reducing the risk of injuries. Squats help maintain joint health and ensure smoother, more fluid movement. The increased range of motion makes daily activities, such as squatting down to pick something up or climbing stairs, easier and more efficient. Moreover, this flexibility gained from squatting can play a significant role in aging gracefully, keeping your joints healthy and functional for longer. Additionally, flexible joints from regular squats contribute to a more balanced and stable posture, reducing the likelihood of falls and enhancing your overall physical confidence. Squats boost your cardiovascular health. The physical effort of squatting increases heart rate and circulation strengthening your heart and improving cardiovascular endurance. This regular activity supports a healthy heart and efficient blood flow throughout your body, 
Enhanced circulation from squatting not only benefits your heart, but also contributes to better oxygen and nutrient delivery to all your muscles, improving overall fitness. Moreover, this increase in heart health can lead to a reduction in the risk of heart-related diseases and conditions. Regular squatting also assists in managing healthy blood pressure levels, further safeguarding your cardiovascular system. Additionally, the endurance built through consistent squatting helps reduce fatigue during other aerobic activities, making it easier to engage in longer or more intense workouts. Squats are effective for weight loss. They burn calories and enhance metabolism, aiding in fat reduction. Regular squatting, especially at higher intensities, contributes to a higher metabolic rate, helping you burn more calories even when at rest. Additionally, as squats build muscle, they increase your body's ability to burn calories more efficiently, even during periods of inactivity. Incorporating squats into your workout routine not only helps in shedding excess weight, but also in maintaining a leaner body composition. Furthermore, the versatility of squats allows them to be integrated into various workout styles, from HIIT to strength circuits, maximizing weight loss and muscle toning benefits. This adaptability make squats a valuable tool in any weight loss journey, ensuring variety in your exercise regimen and preventing workout plateaus. Squatting benefits your mental health by releasing endorphins, which elevate mood and reduce stress. This physical activity provides mental clarity and stress relief, making squats an excellent exercise for both physical and mental wellness. The discipline and focus required in maintaining a regular squat routine also contribute to improved mental resilience and determination. This consistent exercise habit fosters a sense of achievement and can significantly boost self-esteem and body image. Moreover, the challenge of mastering squat techniques and achieving personal fitness goals through squatting can provide a gratifying sense of progress and accomplishment. Squats not only strengthen the body, but also empower the mind, offering a holistic approach to health and well-being. This mental empowerment through squatting encourages a positive outlook on life, enhancing overall life satisfaction and emotional wellness. That concludes the first installment of our in-depth look at the tremendous benefits of squatting. We've talked about how squats can improve your physical and emotional health, improving anything from muscular tone to mood. If you found this material useful and are interested in learning more about the power of squats, please like and share this video with others who may benefit. Subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell for more comprehensive fitness tutorials and wellness suggestions. This way, you won't miss out on the second installment of our squat series, as well as other useful fitness information. Keep squatting, and we'll see you in the next video for more revolutionary fitness insight. Hello everyone, we're talking lunges today, those powerful moves for stronger legs and better balance. Great for beginners or longtime fitness fans, lunges add real value to any workout. Here's what you need to know about doing them right and the benefits they bring. Lunges are more than just leg work, they're a total body boost. They firm up your thighs improve your core, and help your whole body 
get stronger and more balanced. Adding lunges to your routine is a surefire way to improve your fitness. Looking to step up your exercise game? Lunges are a simple yet powerful choice. They bring variety and challenge to your workouts. Ready to learn more? Let's go through how lunges can transform your fitness. Lunges are a standout choice for anyone looking to boost their lower body strength. They actively engage your thighs, glutes, and core, making them a powerhouse for muscle building, balance, and flexibility. Lunges are more than just a single exercise. They're a varied approach to enhancing your overall physical capabilities. Performing lunges involves several muscle groups and joints at once, leading to improved coordination and agility. Each lunge propels you towards a more balanced and robust physique. They're not just about strength. They're about promoting harmonious body movements and preventing injuries by ensuring that all parts work together seamlessly. To make your lunges effective, focus on proper form and technique. Keep your back straight, align your knees with your toes, and avoid letting your knees go beyond your toes to prevent strain. Gradually increase the depth and number of lunges as your strength and confidence grow. With regular practice, you'll notice improved stability, endurance, and a more toned appearance. Lunges are a commitment to your fitness, and with each step, you're building a stronger, more agile version of yourself. Lunges are a staple of fitness for good reasons. They sculpt your legs, enhance your balance, and improve overall body coordination. Every lunge you take works not just your lower body, but also engages your core, making it a full body exercise. By targeting multiple muscle groups, the lunges provide a balanced approach to strength and toning. Besides improving muscle tone, lunges improve functional movements, making everyday activities easier and reducing the risk of falls and injuries. They can be done anywhere, requiring no special equipment, making them an ideal exercise for home workouts or when traveling. Lunges also adapt as you progress, offering increased challenges through variations and added weights. Consistent lunging leads to noticeable improvements, not just in your physical appearance, but in your body's performance. Stronger legs mean faster runs, higher jumps, and a more stable stance. Flexible hips enhance your agility and range of motion. Lunges are transformative, and by incorporating them regularly into your workouts, you'll see significant gains in strength, endurance, and overall physical health. They are a real game changer for anyone serious about fitness. Achieving the perfect lunge is about understanding form and technique. Correct posture, foot alignment, and core engagement are crucial for a safe and effective lunge. Learning the right way to perform lunges will help you get the most out of this exercise. Start with your feet, hip width apart. Take a step forward and then lower your hips. Your front knee should be directly above your ankle and your back knee should be pointing down towards the floor. Keep your upper body straight and your shoulders back. It's essential to focus on your core during lunges. Engaging your abdominal muscles will help you maintain balance and provide support for your back. This reduces the risk of injury and ensures that you're working out the right muscle groups effectively. Common mistakes include overstepping, which can strain your knees, or letting your front knee wobble to the side. 
To prevent these, ensure your steps are measured and your knees are stable. Practice in front of a mirror to check and correct your form. As you become more comfortable with lunges, you can experiment with different variations to challenge yourself further. However, no matter which type of lunge you're performing, maintaining proper form is key to maximizing the exercise's benefits and avoiding injury. One of the best things about lunges is their versatility. From classic forward lunges to side lunges and walking lunges, there's a style for every fitness level and goal. Understanding these variations can help you keep your workouts fresh and challenging. Forward lunges are the most common type, great for beginners and focusing on the front of the thighs and glutes. Side lunges target the inner and outer thighs, enhancing lateral movement and flexibility. Walking lunges add a dynamic movement, increasing overall functional strength. But why stop there? Jumping lunges introduce a cardiovascular element, boosting heart rate and endurance. Reverse lunges change the muscle focus slightly, offering a variation that might feel more comfortable for some and puts less strain on the knees. Each lunge variation offers unique benefits and can be tailored to your fitness level or the day's goals. Incorporating different types of lunges into your routine ensures you're working all aspects of your legs and core, providing a comprehensive lower body workout. Remember, while experimenting with different lunges is beneficial, maintaining proper form is crucial. Start with the basics and gradually introduce new variations as your strength and confidence grow. With practice, you'll find the right mix of lunges to keep your workouts exciting and effective. Lunges can be a dynamic part of any workout regime, whether you're aiming for strength, endurance, or flexibility. They seamlessly integrate into various routines, enhancing other exercises and providing a solid base for overall fitness. Let's look at how to incorporate lunges effectively. For beginners, starting with a few sets of basic lunges can significantly improve leg strength and balance. As you become more comfortable, increase the number of repetitions or experiment with different variations to continuously challenge your muscles. Lunges are also incredibly versatile in terms of equipment. You can perform them anywhere with just your body weight or add dumbbells, kettlebells, or resistance bands to increase the intensity. This adaptability makes lunges suitable for home workouts, the gym, or even while traveling. It's essential to consider your overall fitness goals when adding lunges to your routine. If you're focusing on strength, you might do fewer reps with added weight. For endurance, you might incorporate more reps or include lunges in a circuit training session. Remember, consistency is key with lunges. Regularly including them in your workouts will lead to the best results. Keep track of your progress and don't be afraid to adjust your routine as your fitness improves. With time and practice, lunges will become a fundamental part of your fitness journey, enhancing your strength, balance, and flexibility. Lunges are a fantastic way to enhance your workout, but it's crucial to do them safely, to avoid injury and maximize their benefits. A good lunge focuses on controlled movement, proper alignment, and smooth execution. Start with your posture. Keep your upper body straight, your shoulders relaxed, and look ahead. 
As you lunge, step forward with one leg, lowering your hips until both knees are bent at about a 90 degree angle. Be mindful of common mistakes. Avoid taking too long or too short a step, which can strain your knees or throw off your balance. Don't let your front knee wobble side to side. Keep it stable and pointing in the same direction as your foot. As you get comfortable with the basic lunge, you can explore variations to challenge yourself further. Add weights. Try different lunge types like side or reverse lunges or increase the number of reps. But always listen to your body. If something feels off, take a step back and adjust your form or reduce the intensity. With consistency and attention to safety, lunges can be a rewarding part of your fitness regimen. Taking your lunges to the next level means trying out more challenging variations once you're comfortable with the basics. Advanced techniques in lunging are all about pushing your limits and enhancing your strength and endurance. Ready to amp up your routine? Let's see how you can boost your lunge game. Adding weights to your lunges is one way to increase the challenge. Holding dumbbells or a barbell while lunging adds resistance, forcing your muscles to work harder. This not only speeds up muscle growth, but also significantly increases overall strength. Start with manageable weights and increase them gradually as you build confidence and strength. Dynamic variations, like jumping lunges, bring a whole new level of intensity to your workout. They add a cardiovascular element to your lunges, helping you burn more calories and improve agility. These powerful movements are great for boosting speed and power, making your everyday movements more efficient. Unilateral training, focusing on one leg at a time with exercises like Bulgarian split squats, helps correct imbalances and builds individual muscle strength. This kind of focused training is excellent for enhancing stability and ensuring your lunging technique is solid and effective. Remember, advancing in your lunging practice should be a measured and mindful process. Pay close attention to maintaining good form and listen to your body's signals. Progress might be gradual, but with consistency, the advanced variations of lunges can remarkably transform your fitness, granting you impressive strength and endurance. All right, as we wrap up our lunge session, let's think about what's next. You've learned a lot about how lunges can transform your fitness but the journey doesn't stop here. Every lunge you've taken is a step towards a fitter, stronger you. Let's consider how to keep that momentum going. Never underestimate the power of a good cool down. After your lunges, take some time to stretch out those muscles. It helps in recovery and gets you ready for your next workout. This isn't just about today. It's about keeping you on track for all the workouts to come. Take a moment to reflect on the changes you've noticed. Maybe it's feeling stronger, moving easier, or just having that extra spring in your step. Each of these changes is a win, showing you the real results of your hard work. Think about what's next for your lunge journey. Maybe you'll add more reps, try out those challenging variations, or mix it into different routines. Each new challenge is a chance to grow stronger and more confident in your fitness journey. Remember, lunges are more than just an exercise. They're a commitment to your ongoing health and strength. Keep at it, stay consistent, and enjoy the journey. Thanks for joining us 
and keep moving forward. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fitness tips and tricks. Welcome, fitness friends. Today, we're answering another frequently asked fitness question. When should I stretch and how often? We're unraveling the essentials of stretching and why it is a key component of fitness and vital for keeping your muscles flexible, strong, and healthy. Join us as we guide you through the best practices for stretching, ensuring you get the most out of this crucial part of your workout routine. Whether you're a seasoned athlete or a fitness newbie, understanding the nuances of stretching can significantly enhance your physical well-being. Stretching means extending your muscles to improve elasticity and flexibility. It's crucial for preventing injuries enhancing your range of motion, improving posture, and reducing stress. There are two primary types. Dynamic stretching, which involves moving as you stretch to warm up muscles, and static stretching, where you hold a stretch for a period to cool down muscles after exercise. Both types play essential roles in a balanced fitness regimen. Dynamic stretches increase blood flow and prepare the body for physical activity. While static stretches aid in muscle recovery and flexibility improvement. Integrating both into your workouts ensures comprehensive muscle care and functional health. The best time to stretch depends on the type of stretching and your workout. Dynamic stretches are perfect before exercise to prepare your muscles, while static stretches are ideal after a workout for cooling down. Timing your stretches effectively can boost performance and aid in recovery, enhancing your overall exercise experience. For dynamic stretching, focus on movements that mimic the activity you're about to perform gradually increasing intensity. This primes the muscles for the demands of your workout. After exercise, static stretches help relax muscles and increase flexibility, promoting a quicker recovery. Include stretches that target the muscle groups you've worked the most during your session. Regularly incorporating both types in your routine improves flexibility, and reduces the likelihood of muscle soreness and injuries. Daily stretching is recommended for maintaining flexibility. The key is consistency rather than duration. Even short stretching sessions, if done regularly, can significantly improve flexibility. Aim for a few minutes each day, focusing on major muscle groups to integrate stretching effectively into your daily routine. Tailoring your stretching routine to your body's needs and responses is crucial. If you're feeling particularly tight or have been more active, longer or more frequent stretching can be beneficial. On rest days or less active days, a lighter stretching routine can help maintain flexibility without overexerting your muscles. Remember, stretching should never cause pain. Always listen to your body and adjust accordingly. Incorporating a variety of stretches that target different muscles ensures a comprehensive approach, preventing imbalances and enhancing overall body function. Regular stretching not only aids in muscle health, but also contributes to better posture reduced stress, and a feeling of overall well-being. Starting with simple stretches is the best approach for beginners. Focus on major muscle groups like the legs, hips, shoulders, and back. Perform each stretch gently 
avoiding any pain, and hold for about 20-30 seconds. Gradually, as your flexibility improves, you can explore more varied and deeper stretches. Begin with stretches that don't require equipment, like toe touches and arm crosses, to build a foundation. As you progress, incorporate stretches that use stability, like a seated twist or a calf stretch against a wall. Consistency is more beneficial than intensity. Regular short sessions can lead to significant improvements over time. Don't rush the process. Respect your body's limits and recognize that flexibility increases with patience and practice. Additionally, incorporating breathing techniques can enhance the stretching experience, allowing for deeper stretches and greater relaxation. Remember, stretching is a journey and each session builds upon the last, leading to greater mobility and ease of movement. Advanced stretching techniques are great for improving flexibility and range of motion. These include deeper static stretches and PNF stretching, where you alternate between contracting and relaxing your muscles. These methods should be approached with caution and preferably under guidance, as they can be more intense. When engaging in advanced stretching, ensure a thorough warm-up to prepare your muscles and prevent injury. Techniques like over-split stretches or advanced yoga poses can significantly extend your flexibility limits. Incorporating these stretches after you've built a solid flexibility foundation helps push your boundaries and enhances athletic performance. Always prioritize form and control to maximize benefits and minimize the risk of injury. It's also beneficial to pair advanced stretches with a strengthening routine to ensure muscle balance and joint stability. Remember, advanced stretching is about progression and adaptation. Listen to your body and gradually increase intensity and complexity. Your stretching routine should evolve as you age. Younger individuals might focus on dynamic stretching to support active lifestyles, while older adults may benefit more from gentle static stretches to maintain mobility and reduce stiffness. Adapting your stretching methods to your age and physical condition is vital for long-term flexibility. In childhood and adolescence, stretching can support growth and development, enhancing coordination and physical literacy. As you enter midlife, maintaining a range of motion becomes increasingly important and stretching can help counteract the sedentary aspects of work life. For seniors, stretches often focus on maintaining independence, with a strong emphasis on preventing falls and keeping the muscles and joints functional. Incorporating age-appropriate stretches not only addresses the changing needs of the body through different life stages, but also ensures a continued commitment to health and well-being. Regardless of age, stretching contributes to a healthier, more active, and more enjoyable lifestyle. Hey everyone, today we're talking about sugar, that sweet stuff we all love but know we should probably cut back on. What really happens when you ease up on sugar? Whether it's in your morning coffee, a sneaky snack, or part of just about every meal, reducing sugar can make a big difference in your health. Stick with us to find out how less sugar can mean a healthier, happier you. Cutting down doesn't just trim your waistline. It can sharpen your mind 
and even improve your mood. Imagine feeling more awake, less moody, and having a steady stream of energy all day. That's the power of saying no to the sweet stuff. We're not just talking about avoiding the obvious, like candies and cakes. It's also about being smart with hidden sugars and sauces, breads, and those drinks that seem healthy but are actually sugar traps. So, let's dive in and sweeten the deal on your health by learning all about sugar's role in your body and how cutting back can be a game changer. So you've decided to cut back on sugar. What happens first? Initially, you might feel a little off as your body misses its usual sugar rush. You might face cravings or even feel a bit grumpy. But hold tight. This phase passes quickly and soon you'll feel more energized and less at the mercy of those sugar highs and crashes. It's a bit like resetting your system. As your body adjusts to lower sugar levels, you might notice improved sleep and clearer thinking. Some people even report fewer headaches and better digestion. Keep in mind that everyone's body reacts differently. But these early challenges are signs that your body is starting to adapt to a healthier state. As the days go by, you'll likely find those sugary snacks you once loved are too sweet for your now more sensitive palate. This natural recalibration is your body's way of embracing a healthier lifestyle, reducing reliance on quick sugar fixes and promoting more stable energy levels throughout the day. One of the biggest perks of cutting sugar is losing extra pounds. Sugar packs a lot of empty calories, and when you cut it out, you might find yourself losing weight without much extra effort. It's not just about looking good. Reducing sugar helps dodge some serious health bullets like obesity and its buddies. When sugar is off your daily menu, your body starts to use stored fat for energy, leading to weight loss. This isn't just a quick fix. It's about changing how your body operates for the better. And it's not just the scale that shows the benefits. Your clothes might fit better and you'll likely have more energy. Plus, cutting down on sugar reduces inflammation throughout your body, which can lessen joint pain and improve overall health. Remember, the journey to weight loss isn't just a sprint, it's a marathon. Reducing sugar intake is a powerful step, but it's also about making healthier choices overall. Stay hydrated, eat balanced meals, and get moving. Your body will thank you for it. Less sugar can mean a happier metabolism. Over time, too much sugar can mess with your insulin, the stuff that helps your body handle sugar. Cutting back helps keep your insulin in check and your metabolism running smoothly reducing your risk of diabetes and other not-so-sweet conditions. As you reduce sugar, your body becomes better at using other sources of fuel, like fats and proteins, which means a more efficient energy burn and less fat storage. This transition to a more versatile metabolism can lead to better weight control and a decreased likelihood of metabolic syndrome a cluster of conditions that includes high blood pressure, abnormal cholesterol levels, and excess body fat. It's not just about the numbers on a scale. It's about creating a body that's more resilient and capable. Reducing sugar intake lays the groundwork for a healthier, more stable metabolic environment, paving the way for improved overall health and well-being. Embracing this change 
can lead to long-lasting benefits from increased vitality and better mood regulation to a more robust defense against diseases commonly associated with metabolic imbalance. Your heart isn't a fan of too much sugar, either. Scaling back can lower bad cholesterol and inflammation, leading to a healthier, stronger heart. Less sugar means you're helping your heart pump stronger for longer, and who doesn't want that? When you cut down on sugar, you're also reducing the risk of arterial damage and clogging, which are key factors in heart disease and strokes. A diet low in sugar helps keep your blood pressure in a healthy range, another critical factor in maintaining cardiovascular health. Additionally, less sugar can lead to better weight management, which directly benefits heart health by reducing strain and improving circulation. By committing to less sugar, you're not just making a dietary change. You're making a lifestyle change that pays dividends in heart health. Each step you take towards cutting sugar from your diet is a step towards a more vibrant and energetic life with a heart that's ready to take on anything. Cutting sugar is a big win for your teeth. Less sugar means fewer cavities and happier gums. So by reducing those sweet treats, you're giving yourself a reason to smile more, showing off those healthier teeth. When you reduce your sugar intake, you're also decreasing the risk of gum disease which is linked to other serious health issues like heart disease and diabetes. A mouth free from sugary residue means less plaque and tartar buildup, leading to fresher breath and a brighter smile. Plus, regular dental checkups will become more pleasant with less decay to address. Embracing a low sugar lifestyle doesn't just benefit your waistline, it's an investment in your oral health that keeps you smiling wider and brighter for years to come. Remember, every time you skip the sugar, you're taking a proactive step towards a healthier, more confident you from the inside out. Want clearer, younger looking skin? Cutting back on sugar can help with that too. Too much sugar can make your skin age faster and even lead to breakouts. Reduce the sugar, and your skin will likely thank you with a clearer, more radiant look. When sugar is high in your diet, it can lead to a process called glycation, where sugar in your bloodstream attaches to proteins and forms harmful new molecules that can damage collagen and elastin, the fibers that keep your skin firm and youthful. Cutting back on sugar helps protect these vital skin proteins, reducing the signs of aging like wrinkles and sagging. Moreover, lower sugar intake can decrease inflammation throughout the body, which is often a culprit behind skin conditions such as acne and eczema. By reducing inflammation, your skin becomes less red less swollen, and more even in tone and texture. Embracing a diet low in sugar doesn't just benefit your health. It's a beauty treatment that comes from within, giving your skin a chance to be its healthiest and most vibrant self. Going easy on sugar is like putting money in your health bank. Over the long haul, Less sugar means a lower risk of lots of chronic diseases, not to mention helping you feel more vibrant and lively as you age. It's all about making choices today that your future self will thank you for. Reducing sugar not only diminishes the risk of developing conditions like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain types of cancer, but also contributes to a stronger immune system, reducing your susceptibility to common illnesses. 
the benefits extend to your mental health too, with a lower risk of experiencing mood swings, depression, and cognitive decline. By choosing a diet low in added sugars, you're also likely to enjoy better sleep quality and increased physical energy, enhancing your daily life and productivity. Each step towards a lower sugar lifestyle is a step towards a more fulfilling and healthier life, allowing you to enjoy your years to the fullest with fewer health worries and more energy for the activities you love. And it's not just your body that benefits from less sugar. Cutting down can clear the fog in your brain, lift your mood, and even help keep your memory sharp. So, less sugar can mean a happier, more focused you. Decreasing sugar intake reduces inflammation, not only in your body, but also in your brain, which can improve cognitive functioning and decrease the risk of cognitive decline with age. Less sugar means steadier blood sugar levels, contributing to more consistent energy and mood levels throughout the day. This stability is key for maintaining concentration, making decisions, and feeling emotionally balanced. What's more, by avoiding the highs and lows of sugar spikes, you're more likely to maintain a balanced diet, which supports overall brain health and nourishment. Embracing this change isn't just about cutting out sweets. It's about enhancing your mental clarity, emotional well-being, and long-term cognitive health. All right, folks, that's the scoop on sugar. Less of it can lead to a healthier, more energetic life. If you're thinking about cutting back, go for it. Start small, find tasty, healthier alternatives, and watch as the benefits start rolling in. Hit like if you're ready to take on the challenge. And don't forget to share this with someone who might be looking to sweeten their life in a healthier way. Subscribe and stay tuned for more tips on living your best life, bite by bite. Here's to happier days with less sugar in them.